You don't need to be a movie star to look great on camera. With a few small tricks, you can have a much bigger impact on your potential clients or your partners in an online meeting or a webinar. First of all, think of the light. Don't go and sit with your back to the light because then you will be in backlight and nobody will see you. So make sure that a lot of light is falling on your face. Now, daylight can be very harsh and then you might look like a ghost and that's not what we want. So it might be a good idea to draw the curtains or the blinds and to work with artificial light. Now, before you go and take that bedside lamp or your desk lamp in front of you, Make sure that it's not yellow light. Mostly that is warm light and warm light might give the impression that you're suffering from jaundice. <laughs> That's also not what we want. So look for cool artificial light. Why not invest in a small ring lamp? They're not expensive and my colleagues and I, we call them the Kim Kardashian lights. I've actually also bought one and it makes a huge difference. The second element you really need to take care of is eye contact. It's so important. Did you know that that small black circle on the top of your screen is actually a camera? Now, I'm joking of course, but so many people don't know where to look these days. They're looking at their screen because that's where they see the other people or their slides, but they actually forget that eye contact so looking directly into that small black hole is vital for making a connection with your client or with your partner. So try to look at that camera, but therefore the camera needs to be on eye level. And most people put their laptop or their computer too low on their desk. And then they're filming the ceiling and the infamous nostril perspective, which I can assure you is not flattering for anyone. So raise that laptop by adding a few books or a cardboard box underneath your laptop. Or why not use a cocktail table where you put your laptop a little higher and you have a better posture also. If we're talking about eye contact, those of you who are wearing glasses, make sure that your glasses are not hiding or shielding your eyes because of the reflection. So do a little test in advance by using your camera app that is without any doubt on your computer and then you can see where you should look and how you should move in order to have no reflection. And if you don't really need those glasses for an online meeting, just leave them off. A third very important element when you're dealing with on-camera meetings is your background. If there's too much information in that background, it will distract the people who are looking at you and listening to you. And you should be the most important element in that image, not your background, not your bookcase, not an image, not a drawing, not a painting that's in the background. So make sure that it's rather neutral and calm. And beware of those virtual backgrounds because we've all seen the waving palm trees and the romantic sunsets and they're okay if you're talking to friends or your mum, but they're not professional. Keep it neutral and calm. Now you might be thinking, this is getting very boring, that image. No, you can add a splash of colour. If you look in your wardrobe and you go for that top or jacket or dress that actually reflects your personality, then you can absolutely add some colour to that image. Now, of course, no um, feathers or rainbow colours, but you can go for something fresh. And make sure to wear shoes, because as soon as you put on shoes, your brain will go into work mode and you will be much more focused having a much bigger impact on that potential client or your partner. And lastly, makeup. Now, gentlemen, before you're all running away, I'm not just talking about ladies making themselves up for a gala dinner. No, I'm talking about a little bit of compact powder, which can make a world of difference. Because a little bit of powder 
we'll make sure that you don't have a shiny face. A shiny face is on an unconscious level read as somebody who is sweating, also somebody who is, yes, nervous. And you want to come across confident, very sure of what you're saying. So a little bit of powder on your nose, on your chin, on your forehead can actually make you look more confident. I wish you lots of success in front of that camera. 